Shrewsbury Legion baseball team lost in the state championship game last week. But the good news for Post 397 is their season isn't over yet. For the second year in a row, Shrewsbury is hosting the Northeast Regionals. Now, the games will be played at Hanover Insurance Park. Post 397 won it last year and went all the way to the World Series down in North Carolina. They're excited about defending you know, their crown. Just for the you know town of Shrewsbury and uh, of course for the Don, our coach, and all of us. You know every year this is where we want to be, and it uh, you know just feels good to be back here and uh, ready to compete. It's, it's great. I mean we we know that we uh, didn't win states, but um, you know Coach V gives us gave us this opportunity last year by hosting the regionals and did it again. So. We know we got a big task ahead of us, but we should be fine. It means a lot to us. Uh, you know, we've worked, we've worked towards this all year. Um, we had a great zone, great state playoffs, and uh, it's great to be back in the regional. Hopefully, to finish the job like we did last year. Ready to get back at it and hopefully win the regional and get back to Shelby. It's really great. Um, a lot of hometown people get to come watch into this team. I mean, it means a lot to us. I'm looking forward to a strong week with great competition. I think the boys are all loose and ready to play baseball and they got one mission in mind that's to get back to the World Series so I'm excited. They should be excited. Hey the defending Northeast Regional Champs Shrewsbury takes on Rochester New Hampshire on Wednesday the opening day of play at 630. The Bravehearts start their semifinal best of three series tomorrow at home. Worcester is the number two seed the players working out today. It's really a second season as they push for a championship. Work out some kicks and, and figure out who we're going to have tomorrow and, and just sort of get back in that frame of mind. But just in the first couple minutes here today, there's definitely a different feel, you know, a playoff kind of feel and intensity to it. I think these guys are excited to still be here and, and to have the opportunity to compete for a championship. Everyone is relaxed. Everyone is loose. We know that we're, we've got the target, target on our backs and, uh, you know, we're just going to go out there and play our player game every single day and just win it all this week so we have to play with the crowd we're gonna have a lot of people here uh, tomorrow night and every home game we have um, just play our game keep the same energy and get ahead early and throw strikes all right so the Bravehearts will play Bristol tomorrow at Hanover Insurance Park game time is 7.05 the Uxbridge U10 Cal Ripken League baseball team won their first game of the World Series in pool play this afternoon, defeating Pennsylvania. Now they have two more games remaining in pool play. The players and coaches are proud to be representing Uxbridge and New England as well. It's amazing. Just no one else has really done this at our age, and it hasn't happened in a while for New England, so oh, it's awesome. I mean, it's a big trip, but it's going to be fun. Well, it's kind of a little bit of pressure because, like, we have to play for New England. But, again, it's going to be exciting. We're not only about ourselves. We're not only about the community of Uxbridge. That's where we are. We're proud of that. We love our, our town and our heritage here in Uxbridge. But to represent Massachusetts now, the only one standing in Massachusetts, and now to represent for the second year in a row all of New England, you just can't put it in words. It's something special. All right, so they will play tomorrow and Wednesday. And again, they beat Pennsylvania today 13-3. to Quarterback Peter Puyals graduated Holy Cross as one of the most prolific passers in program history. So the million-dollar question during training camp this year is, who will emerge as the new number one starting quarterback for Holy Cross? Now, it's only four days into training camp, but it is still a wide-open competition. We have multiple uh, guys, you know, that can are capable um, and willing, you know, to, to uh, do the job. So, I mean, we're, we're working with, with every quarterback we have here, just trying to build that chemistry, trying to, you know, retain the offense uh, a little bit better. Um, and I think we're on the way. Just keep working every single day. We're just trying to, again, build these base layers and, and these foundations and these fundamentals and what are our base plays that we hope to be able to execute, you know, in the long run. There's a lot of things we're dabbling with. A lot of it is stuff that you won't see ever in a game. So, you know, I think it's just us figuring out, you know, what, what each quarterback's good at. And then in the end, what do we need to do to beat Colgate in week one and who gives us the best chance with that game plan? All right, from our guys, Andy Lacombe and Sean Grady that were there today, Emmett Clifford was quarterbacking with the ones, and Jeff Wade was with the twos. The Kingsway, Crompton Park Summer League semifinals. We got Westboro in the white. We got St. John's in the red. First half, Westboro's, Jake Hughes 
with the breakaway bucket. Andreas Torres, baseline jumper for St. John's. St. John's down by 10 at this point. Westboro's Dominic Casparello. Off the backboard, over defenders. Tough shot. Owen Marrera, the rebound. Marrera, the put back. Hughes playing a little game I like to call take it to the den. Splitting the defenders, he hangs and hits. That's a sweet take. Second half now, Mike Doherty. The hoop and the harm, switching hands in the air. Westboro's up by nine. Doherty, sweet feed to Quinn Donovan. Westboro going on to win, 53-36 is your final. In the other semifinal, it is Doherty in the yellow, Wachusett in the green, first half. Alex Momo on the break, lays it up and in. Doherty up early on. Wachusett, Sam Dion. Dialing it up from long distance. Dion with the triple, Wachusett's down by two. Doherty going inside to Momo. The hoop and the harm, Doherty's up by four. Wachusett hitting the glass, Hunter Johnson. The rebound and the putback. Good touch from the big fella. Nephi Rios in transition. Nice lay in. Then it's Cairo Jimenez beyond the arc. Jimenez spotting up and nothing but net on the three. Doherty with the steal. Rios coast to coast. Doherty wins 60 to 47. Championship game is tomorrow night at 6.45. It'll be Doherty and Westboro. And the Massachusetts Pirates won their final regular season game on Saturday at the DCU Center. They are the number one seed heading into the playoffs. They will host their first round game this weekend against Columbus. So they go in on a roll. Good stuff. That's going to do it for us here on Worcester News tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Anna Botari. We'll see you back here tomorrow.